Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Thunder 2003. And in this episode of our season as Bobby Labonte in his number 18 Interstate Batteries Pontiac Grand Prix, we're going to be completing the third race of the season, which is the UAW Daimler Chrysler 400 at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Now, usually this is not a race that people look forward to in a Let's Play because it's freaking Las Vegas. It's a 1.5 mile intermediate track. But the AI... From what I've learned in this game, they are programmed to just experience no tire fall off, have more straightaway speed than you, have more corner grip than you, and it. I, I first played this game a couple years ago, and I was like, okay, what if racing, he did a let's play on this game, that was actually how I found him. And I, I looked up his video whenever he started the let's play of this game, from like 2015 maybe, and he was just complaining the entire time, it's like... It, I don't know why they program the AI like this. It's, it's just a miserable experience. So you have to get a really great custom setup. And then I tweaked it so that it's you know as tight as I want it to be. And then I can balance it out with the draft and the straightaways between the AI. And in the end, I'll be fortunate if I can get a top 10 in this race. Maybe top 15, but we're going to qualify. We're not going to do no first to last because... Uh, well, first to last. Last to first. If I started first, I'd finish last. I'll tell you that much. But let's uh, take a look at the season standings. Oh, that's the schedule. I don't know how this game works. I'm sorry. They're Jeff Gordon. Still got the points lead after winning the Daytona 500. And we just won at Rockingham in the last episode. So we're 21 points behind him. Uh, we battled with Dale Jarrett in the last episode as well. And he's in fifth place, 54 back. But uh, I'm not really focused on battling with anybody up here. I'm just, we're going to go into this race and try to not suck. And plus, it's it's Las Vegas. And I just got this shirt. So I'm I'm rooting with uh, Black Flags Matter. Darian Gilliam's... Uh, his, his merchandise that he had him made with uh, Lefty, that I, I met both of them at Bristol uh, just last week as I'm recording this, though this is probably not coming out till Monday or whatever after I get all the, the moving to my apartment done. This is the last video I'm recording in this room. But uh, yes, so let's go out there and let's just try to not suck for Darian, okay? Also, Darian is going to be in this video. Hi, Black Flags Matter. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Darren Gillen, a.k.a. Black Flags Matter. See, I was, like, being hella quiet at first. I didn't know when to talk. I didn't start talking about my merch, and you're wearing the merch. I really appreciate it. And, yeah, it was cool as hell meeting you and, and your and your girl in person, too. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. me and her were both in the, uh, the, the goofy photo at the It's Bristol Baby yeah. sign. <laughs> and... I didn't even put on a goofy pose. I just kind of crossed my arms because I didn't have time to yeah, think about it. More serious Everyone else is just like automatically me. I just kind of just stood there. I was <laughs> I was in my cold trickle stuff. Yeah, no, it's uh, crazy. Like uh, we saw you getting interviewed for Marty Smith, and I and then I did a double take. I was like, Yo, that's JC. That's really him. You know, because like, we were looking for you, and I was like, That's him. That's crazy. I have yet to to find the footage of that interview. I, I would like to, but. You know, I don't know what it would have been used for, like an internet blog or, or like maybe on ESPN somewhere. Yeah. I don't even watch TV. I just know him from like the some of his YouTube yeah. stuff. Who he's watches recorded. TV anymore, right? But I, I will, I will say this though. Um, I'm seeing your TV right now, and that NASCAR racer scheme is beautiful. By the way, it's very yeah, cool. dude. There, there is so much about NASCAR racers that has left a permanent mark on my memory. Like, yeah. there's so much nostalgia and like feeling that I have because. I was watching it before they took it off of Cartoon Network or Jetix, whatever it was. Jetix, on. yeah, it was Jetix. <laughs>
NASCAR Winston Cup Racing has hit the jackpot this week as we come to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for today's UAW Daimler Chrysler 400. I'm Joe Moore along with Barney Hall. We'll be bringing you all the action right here on the MRN. What kind of things should we look for in this one, Barney? Well, the good thing about the tracks like this, there's plenty of room out there to avoid accidents. I look for these guys to have a pretty clean run and we probably won't see the big one that we talk about at some of the other tracks. Mark Martin won the inaugural race here at Las Vegas in 1998, so you know he can get around this racetrack. And he really excels on these flatter tracks. The low degree of banking really forces a driver to be smooth getting into and out of the corners. And there aren't any better at that than Mark Martin. In 1993, Bobby Labonte finished second to Jeff Gordon in the Rookie of the Year battle. You know, that's a pretty good rookie class. At first, Gordon's accomplishments overshadowed Bobby's, but Labonte had been a solid contender for the title in each of the last few years. Dale Jarrett, Here and then go. the second row is is Ricky Rudd and Todd Bodine, the Discovery car. Yeah, it's going to fall to the back, um, though. That's what usually what happens. But that's, that's the thing is, like, the, the, the first three rows are five fours. I don't know what the hell is with this team. Oh, oh. But, um, okay, get your feet under. I'm going to just I'm gonna try to back it back it up into the corner, and Matt Kinsley is starting back here. Yeah, that's rare. And so is Ryan Newman, Newman too. rookie yeah. season Ryan Newman. Yeah. See, with the rookies, it's weird. Like, you don't know what you're going to get because they usually go back and forth. This guy went. Season. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Poor <laughs> kid. Yeah, I don't know. He checked up. up. Yeah, he checked up in front of you like a mug. Uh uh. Okay, well. Sorry. That was interesting. Now, now these guys are getting away from me. I don't got a draft. Yeah, he's so got to catch reel them up. Back in. Yeah, he's reeling back in there. So, the NASCAR racers, uh, you're saying. You should probably do like a just a NASCAR racers video. Yeah, I should because I feel like most people it was forget a very, about it. It's a very different moment in time for NASCAR because you think about it today, and it's like it wouldn't make sense if we just had like a hit cartoon mm -hmm. for NASCAR. Yeah, but like that's just how popular it was. Like there was no NFL cartoon, there no. was no FIFA cartoon, but we had a NASCAR cartoon. That's just like this is weird to think about. That was crazy. It was during the, the sports peak too, so it's like. A long memory, so like you know, you got to be really, really a certain age to really remember that. And I definitely remember those days. Those were cool. I wish they would show reruns, but you can find them on on YouTube though, like anywhere. Yeah, it's uh, it's free to watch the whole series on YouTube. Yeah, now. there's a playlist. That's good. Dive bomb. Everyone's trying to pass me, it's just mm -hmm. I'm rude and I'm not yeah, letting Yeah, no, I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, okay, not bad. I, not I'm bad a, I'm, well, Bobby Labonte's having a bad day. He just don't feel like getting <laughs> yeah. So he's just going to sit here and he's going to wait this one out. Maybe it's the NASCAR uh, racer kind of, scheme. Maybe that's it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to win a race with this fucking car, man. Mm -hmm. that yeah, definitely. I've, 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 like, this is the... Oh, oh, oh God. Yeah, man. This is the worst that this race could possibly go. That's all good. So you got cars down pit road. If you got a chance to maybe pull a little strategy game, you never know. You never know. A caution could come out, man. you know, as soon as you lap. Damn! Damn! <laughs> Damn! Damn! What was Mayfield doing? I was, I was doing? letting him by. I was letting him by, and he just missed the corner. He kept going to the bottom, and he's like, I'm going to make this corner even if I wreck myself. Damn, he really he did almost wreck himself. Dude, I... I mean, you can't see this. My audience can't see this, but I'm like, I'm getting, I've gotten like three calls from like three different numbers in the past two minutes <laughs> on my phone that's recording the face cam. I don't know. All right, here we go. Pit stops. Oh, you were. Oh that was God. close. That was close. <laughs> I hit seven. Yeah, that was close. But okay. All right, so um, it's hella tight. You said you gotta take some wedge out, right? I mean, I I have a perfect setup. It's just it's not good stuff. Okay, it okay. Gets beaten up. All right, let's stick with it. Let's it's see like, if that'll work. <laughs> I was able to start fifteenth and finish. 12th with this setup right here mm. but now that i've gotten my ass just beaten up by like 
four or five cars. <laughs> that's that is not the case. Yeah, that car is messed up too. It is jacked up right now. Mm -hmm. It's all good. You can well, make it. We get up to see time. the NASCAR racers hood. Yeah, see, look at but, that. It's so yeah. beautiful. And oh, they fixed it. Okay, not it bad. It was. It was. <laughs> it was. It was. Damn, yeah, but we're all the way back to 30 seconds, though. Don't worry, we can make up time. Oh, he, he almost went page Robbie Gordon. <laughs> I don't even like Robbie Gordon, but <laughs> I care more about my back bumper a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So. I, I have such a hard time competing at this track in a regular car. God forbid I ever start a career by learning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, career mode, that's a whole nother piece, I, man, on this game. Hey, we're up to I remember third. watching What If Racing. Okay, but I remember watching What If Racing do career mode, and um, just the New Hampshire races, I, I don't know, just New Hampshire in specific, it, you go there in career mode, it takes like four seasons to have a car that's not a 43rd place car. Yeah, I don't, you see, my trick was, I would always <laughs> cheese the game in wall pop and qualifying, just so I had a shot at like being up front, so it's like, okay, I can kind of hold up the field a little bit and get some money. I don't know if I'm gaining on that group of cars up there. But, yeah, I mean, I'm in the top 30. Hey, you look like you're just holding on. Yeah, you and Stuart are not particularly having the best of days. I don't know how many days I've ruined for other drivers. Mm -hmm. I just might suck but that's, track, but, but that's just the, that's just what this track does, man. This track humbles people on this game. Because it's like, it's a lot harder than people think. Especially with like a custom setup, too. Definitely. Bobby Labonte. This guy, he just went from, my voice was cracking like so bad, but he just went from battling for the lead with Dale Jarrett for like 30 laps straight, rocking him, to running into literally everything but the pace car. And, and his teammate, he has yet to run into his teammate like that yet, but that's going to change as he's on the outside. Oh, oh, there, there you stand. go, there you go. Now you mark everything, <laughs> you check everything there, off did. the list, bro. And is that Skinner? Is that Skinner right behind you? Damn, bro. Is it Mike Skinner or... It's Skinner. I don't, now, I don't know who drives. Yeah, that's Skinner. Bro. No, Bobby Hamilton, he's still got the 55 this year. Yeah. Robbie Gordon's 31, so... Oh, yeah, Bobby Hamilton. Hamilton page? I don't know. Bobby Hamilton's 55 in this game. So ugly, bro. Just It's a long cry from the days of, like, the square blue, the square deep blue schemes and everything. I think like, they still have his blue, yellow, and red They do. Card, they do have it. It's like unlockable. You have to unlock yeah, it. you have to unlock it, unfortunately. Though. And we've been over that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's see. For my, yeah, I love that. Uh, I'll go ahead. That, uh, that black and white lightning card, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one. There's no rival system, so you can kind of cheese that, too. I mean, one. even if we did have a rival system. You wouldn't care. Yeah, you he, wouldn't would be care. My, he would be my ally already. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. Stop. So you can have, you Stop some being leeway. better than me. I need this for my ego. Stop being better than me. Yeah, so you have not some leeway. No, I'll get him in the corner. There we go. The Gibbs cards. Oh, my I'm God. I'm not having this shit. Yeah, straight up. And then I, I still mess up the corner anyway. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Man. Bye, Stuart. <laughs> I hate this. Yeah. Hey, at God. least you tried, though. At least you tried, though. I, I've got a big mouth for somebody who's running 31st at oh, yeah. intermediate track. Because yeah. I was just on Twitter arguing with, with uh, some NASCAR driver that I've actually never heard of. But um, <laughs> over the fact that NASCAR 08, see, yeah, I said the fact. The fact that NASCAR 08 <laughs> is significantly worse than all the other NASCAR games. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's got some flaws, definitely, that's for sure. I mean, every NASCAR game has its flaws, but, I mean, some are definitely worse than others, though. Let's put it that way. Okay, okay, so we're 33rd right now. Stay in that draft. Okay, get him out. Yep, get him out the damn way. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, God, look at my mirror. They're just, my mirror, they're all freaking all over the place. Oh, I see I the gas touch light. Them, the gas light's shit. going off. Okay, you should be good, though. You got one more lap, so you should be good. Yeah. But let's see if we I mean, can... The leader uh, just started the final lap of the race. Yeah. I, over here 15 seconds behind. I'm going to assume it's one of the Fords, like Martin or uh, Jarrett, that's probably just running away with it. They usually win here, like, all the time. This, I swear, it's gonna be Dale Jarrett. He couldn't yeah. win Rockingham, but I'm sure, he's over here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get back to 31st. Yeah, get some points. Get every point counts. I'm surprised I haven't um, overheated the engine at any point. Yeah, not bad. Just so the, the car handling was was a tad off throughout the race, but you know what? 32nd is a lot better than last place. So you know what? You can take those points okay. and go home. Well, at some point this season. <laughs> It'd be nice to be able to say that this wasn't my worst finish of the season. If, like, oh, if I blow yeah. up or something, I can Gordon. say, well, we didn't of finish that Of course it was Gordon who won. That's his second win of the season.
Jeff Gordon started eighth place. Um, I mean, I'm sure we saw him in the starting lineup as the cars were passing by, but I just saw a bunch of Ford drivers. Mark Martin, Ricky Rudd, Dale Jarrett, who all started up there in the top five. Uh, they finished behind him. So he, he came from eighth and got the win. But Mark Martin dominated the race. He led 21 of the 26 laps, and then Jeff Gordon led the other five. And, yeah, Mark Martin just couldn't seal the deal, which is basically his entire career. And he finished half a second behind Jeff Gordon, which basically happened in... Was it 1998? Whose channel, whose video was I just watching? Uh, Slap Shoes, I think? Slap Shoes, I yeah. Slap talking shoes, about Martin it. versus yeah. Gordon. Yeah, he did, he did. Yeah, I was watching that last night, uh, 1998. Mm -hmm. But yeah, basically, Mark Martin's entire career could not seal the deal. Just couldn't. Oh my goodness. I blame Roush. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, yeah he, he got the most laps led. And that's 180 points for Jeff Gordon, who was already 21 points in front of me. Yeah, not bad. And then I finished all the way back here in... In 32nd place. It could have been like maybe 31st, but still, that's only 67 points. So I think Jeff Gordon just gained like 120 points on me or something. Yeah, he gave him, it's, it's his day, but he won't win the war. I guarantee it. Bob Labonte will win the war at the end of it. Okay, what is it? <laughs> Damn! I'm tied for it. You lost five spots. I'm, t I'm tied for seventh <laughs> with Dale and R. Jr. <laughs> Hey, Walter's in the top 134 back. Not bad for Mike. We're two points behind Tony Stewart, mm -hmm. sixth. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Burton is in fifth, 96 back. Dale Jarrett, 74 back. So he lost 20 points on the lead mm -hmm. from Jeff Gordon. He's in fourth. All right. Sterling Marlin, the guy that I wanted to see win the 2002 championship, even though Tony Stewart's my favorite driver of all time, mm. third place. Yeah. Mark Martin, second, 57 back. Shocker. And there is Jeff Gordon. Shocker. I think Mark Martin actually gained on Jeff Gordon that race. A little because bit. he led the most laps and finished in yeah, second. Yeah, he gained a little bit on him. I didn't I didn't really look into how far he back was um, before the race. Because, like, we saw it, but I didn't, you know, right. take note of it or anything. Thank you for being here, but sorry <laughs> that I, I destroyed the NASCAR racer's car. And, it's all good, yeah, man. Dude, crashed into is... Tony Stewart, couldn't even keep the position. Hey, it's all good, man. This has, uh, like, been a long time in but, the making. Because you and me go back to, like, 2016. Way, way back. So... I'm glad we finally yeah, I mean, got this not, done. Finally. <laughs> yeah, not many people know, because they assume that your channel came around 2018 or, or very late 2017. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's weird to think that it was only like maybe a year until you came back on. Yeah. But a lot happened in that time. Oh, I know. Yeah, a lot transpired. And then it's, it's been two years since you started again, so now it's been like almost five years. Yeah, so or it's almost, crazy. Or almost four years yeah, since... Crazy, um, yeah. I started watching your your channel, and he was doing NASCAR Thunder 2004, 2002. Um, I guess you found me because of like NASCAR PSP. I and did. Whatever. I did. I love that so much. That was cool. Really appreciate you having me on here, man. This was great. Um, yeah, then have me back on here again, man. I love doing these things. So this was cool. Well, see you next time. That's that. And episode over. <laughs>